All right, I'm going to show you exactly what I do when I first start a sheet. This is the very first thing you should do. Uh, I go up to extensions. I go to uh, sheet styles. I show my sidebar. And the very first thing I do in a Google Sheet is I will change the background and the text color. Uh, I'll change it to papyrus right now, but I do like the paper style myself. Uh, and it also changes the font to Carla. What this does, this uh, add-on, it's completely free. You should get it right now. Just go up to extensions, add-ons, get add-ons, type in sheet styles, uh, and it'll come in. Just go up here, search for sheet styles, and it's the very first one over here. So what does it do? It In one click, it changes the background color to a nice sort of paper, beige kind of color. You can do it a little more subtle. Uh, and then also it changes the text color from the blackest black to a little bit less than that, uh, a little less black, more gray. Uh, and then the third thing it does is it changes your text to Carla. So why do we do this? We do this because it lets me have less headaches. It, it hurts my eyes uh, if I spend eight to 10 hours a day in Google Sheets the blackest black text, the whitest white background. Uh, it's a lot of contrast. That screen is really bright. You can brighten it up. You can lower down this brightness sometimes. But if you want to keep your screen bright and you still don't want those headaches and that stark, stark contrast, then what I would recommend is a less contrast, meaning a less black black and a less white white. Uh, you can also reverse those if you want to do more of a dark, uh, sort of dark mode kind of thing with a light text and a dark background. But I still would not recommend the whitest white and the blackest black. I would recommend something in the middle. Uh, and this does it in one step. So you go over to sheet styles, you go over to sheet styles, you hit the sidebar, um, and you can have your choice of paper style, papyrus style. There's also data management style, which alternates rows. And then here's also dark style for those who like sort of a dark mode. Uh, so this text, this is text, this dark mode. Pretty cool, right? Uh, and you're like, well, I like those. Those are okay. But like, I want to make it my own. I want to personalize every sheet I do. You can also do a custom style. You can have a, your own background color. You can select anything you want, like maybe this green, and then your font color, you can select any color you want, maybe this sort of a gray here, and set custom style, and the entire sheet turns, oh, that's a little pukish. Um, <laughs> let's, let's knock down that green a little bit, set custom style, there we go, that looks much different. <laughs> All right, um, but yeah, that's the first thing that I do, and I recommend doing it in your Google Sheets. Uh, just to make your experience better. Here at Better Sheets, I'm trying to not just make you better and, and increase your skill set, but I'm trying to make your experience in Google Sheets better as well. Because let's be honest, for all the tips and tricks and techniques we learn, we're not going to save time. We're still going to work 40 hours a week. We're still going to put in those hours. We're still going to be mindlessly going into Sheets. But maybe we'll be doing a lot more. So, you know, check out Automate Your Google Sheets, right? Check out Spreadsheet Automation 101 to automate your Sheets. But we're still going to spend that time in Sheets, right? There was no, there's no getting around it. So I hope your experience in Google Sheets is better because of me, because of Better Sheets. And may, I made this, this uh, Sheet Styles, this add-on completely free. Go install it today in your Google Sheets, share it, enjoy it, uh, and, and I hope your Google Sheet experience is better. Bye. Watch the latest video from Better Sheets right here. If you haven't watched any other videos on Better Sheets, you are in for a treat. Enjoy.